Adjusting your inventory is one of the three most important things that you can do to ensure that Crate Pro is designing as you want it to do and reducing the number of errors. However, doing the inventory also is the one step that does take the longest. So through a few videos, I'm going to show you some really fast ways to go in and get this inventory cleaned up. When you go to the inventory module, you have separate tabs right here, which will indicate all of your items, either active or inactive. On the All tab, and you can do this for any tab, you can go at the top, change it to either Project Fields List or Design Fields List. Then in the All tab, I am seeing a list of all my active and inactive items, and I can also see the categories that are over here. One time, you can go through each one of these, and if you have items that you don't use, uncheck it. Now these should all be items that you just don't use. You're not going to sell it to a customer independent of a crate. Uh, you will not use it in a crate design. If you might use something even one time or occasionally, leave it as an active item because it will save you time. But if you're not using it, just go down the list all the way through all of the items and clear things out. Okay. This way, going forward, you now can click on active. And then on your list, in this particular order, right, I'm seeing a list of all my items that I carry, and I can quickly change the costs here. Now, this is not where you will do it at this point because there's still more work that needs to be done. So the first step is to go ahead and clear out the different items that you would use. You can click on any pencil to take you back to the inventory. You can, if you choose to and don't want to do it from the All tab, you can go to each individual tab and also go there to list to see for that particular category and check or uncheck any items that you wouldn't carry right here. Okay? And at any time, you can click on a pencil and that takes you back to the tab. You can do that for each one of these lists if you prefer not to go through the All tab and you prefer to do it this way. Once you have that cleaned up, Okay. you will have a couple other options which will make things faster. I can actually go here and I can limit it by either any of the active materials, click on the magnifying glass, and only my active items will show up and I can again adjust my cost. Do not do that at this time. We have a few more steps that we need to do before we start entering costs. So your first step is to go through here and you want to go ahead from the All tab into the project fields list or design fields list and clear out what is active and what is inactive that you would not carry. Please go to the next video and we will explain the next step.